Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how and where to download the Bitcoin 2 wallet and set it up so that way you can start mining and get your rewards. So let me flip my screen around and I'll show you the GitHub where you can get this downloaded. So right now, this is the actual QT, the core wallet. So you're going to need to go to this link and depending on if you're using Mac, Linux or Windows, which I'm using Linux or sorry, I'm using Windows about said Linux. Um, you're going to need to click on this and download it. Once it downloads, then go to your downloads folder. So here it is right here, Bitcoin 229 and we had downloaded it. it is zipped. The first thing I always do when anything is zipped is you right click and I have uh, WinRAR installed, so it's called Extract Files. If you don't have WinRAR installed, it'll just be Unzip Files, but you'll go ahead and extract those and unzip them, or extract or unzip them. Hit OK, and then you'll have a folder right here. So Bitcoin 2, 29, Windows 64, and the QT. So you can drag this folder out onto your desktop or wherever you want to keep your actual wallet. Yeah. All right, so I moved mine over into a folder where I have some other stuff on my computer as well. So it's right here. Let me make this bigger. Hold on. View um, medium. I oh, let's view large icons. So there it is, Bitcoin two folder, and you will need to keep this folder because that's how you're going to be able to open your wallet. And there it is, the Bitcoin uh, QT wallet. So you double click that, and then it'll open up something that looks similar to this except your first time you open it, it will have to synchronize with the network because this is a old style node wallet. So um, it didn't take very long right now because the, the chain is not very old, but you're gonna need to wait for that to synchronize. And then you can come over here and click on receive. And then you can make a label. I just made mine test and then create a new receiving address. Once you do, it'll go down here. This is where your receiving addresses are. So that way you can receive coins. Uh, if you ever need to check it again, you can just double click it. And then the address is right there. So that that is BC1 and it ends in XK7. So you can copy that address and that's how you can send an address to somebody if you want uh, to receive coins or if you needed an address to mine with because you need to receive the coins that you mined, you can use that one as well. Then once you receive coins from uh, getting a payout, it'll look like this, recent transactions. So it'll say plus if they're coming in. And then obviously I sent 101 out as a test. So it'll show them as negative in red if they're going outbound. And then your available balance is right here. And then pending is right there. So super simple. If you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, uh, if you need a pool to mine on, we do have a community jellyfish pool. Let me get that link for you down below. I will also include the link for our pool down below in the description. I have, I'm putting some more miners on it today. Um, as of right now, we only have four miners online. We're at 54 terahash, um, and our time to find a block is estimated at a day and two hours. Definitely gonna get some hash rate up, so that way we can start hitting some blocks more consistently, and um, yeah, get that get those payouts going. So doesn't matter if you have a nerd miner, a bid axe, uh, S9, ant miners, anything and everything is welcome. Um, and I will do, so if you go over here to connect, we do have different ports for different uh, difficulties. So nerd miners start out with a low difficulty, that way uh, they actually get shares. Um, ASICs, big boy ASICs, there's a port for them. And then bid axes are right there in between because they put out a little bit of hash, but not like a big full-fledged ASIC. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with the Bitcoin 2. Just be careful because there is an old coin called Bitcoin 2 um, that is considered dead. The devs no longer do anything with it. Uh, and the price is like stagnant. I don't believe it's on any exchanges. But I have a video coming out on how to actually exchange Bitcoin to and where you can exchange it coming up soon. So with that being said, I'm going to jump off here and y'all have a good one.